Hey, this is Chris from LittleTechGirl.com. It has been a while since I made a video. Sorry about that. I've been busy doing a lot of things, but today I am here to talk to you about Master Lock. You may remember a few months ago I told you about Master Lock Vault and how it can be used to securely store passwords, um, online information, bank information and such in your own online vault that only you can access with a passcode. It's secure and um, it keeps all your information safe. So this is almost the end of November. Thanksgiving is in a very, very short time, just a few days, which means everyone is doing online shopping. Okay, maybe not everyone. Some people do still go out on Black Friday and hit the stores, but I have a confession. I have never gone shopping on Black Friday. <laughs> I almost considered it one time when I was sitting up talking to some friends at 3 a.m. and we were like, well, if we're up, we might as well go. And then we said, no, why would we do that? I always do all my shopping online. All of the Black Friday deals that I can find online, I take advantage of them. So with this being that busy time of year, that also means that hackers, scammers, and just all around crooks are also out in full force. They're looking for those people that are being careless with their passwords, careless with their credit cards, that have easy online passwords, and they're out in the stores possibly uh, robbing people, snatching purses and, and, and Christmas bags and things like that. It's uh, the time of year when all of that just skyrockets over what it normally is. So you want to keep yourself safe. When you're doing online shopping, I would suggest you only shop from stores that you are familiar with. Do not put your password, your credit card number and things like that into sites that you've never heard of that look um, strange or that you know you, you just that if you look at it and you get a bad feeling just don't do it do not respond to um, phishing emails this is also the time of year when those kick up you're going to get a lot more email that's asking you to click here and confirm your password by putting in your password and credit card no sites don't do that if a reputable site wants you to confirm something they're going to give you a link back to their own website and that's where you'll go confirm the information. Pay close attention to those links. Read the address. Sometimes they know that some people's eyes move really fast and they'll put a slight variation on the address just to try to get you to click on it and you know, go to their site and enter in your um, password and such. So those are a few online shopping tips. But what about for those of us that are roaming around? I have a couple products I want to talk to you about. The first one is if you are a laptop user and maybe you work um, in a cubicle environment or you work in one of those cube farms where entrepreneurs can go and rent space. Say you want to go to lunch. You don't necessarily want to pack up your laptop and everything like that. So you get one of these. We've seen these for years. This is a laptop lock. This one is the Master Lock Safe Space. What's different about this one is instead of having to keep up with the key that you might lose, it works on words. So you set your passcode on here, you turn it, and when it's time to unlock it, you just put it in again and unlock it. The way this works is on some laptops, not all, but I have here my Asus to show you and also my MacBook. You'll see a little slot over on the side. This fits right in there and you t once it's in and locked, you turn it and you won't be able to pull that out. I'm not gonna do it now because I haven't actually set the code on this yet. But um, it's just that simple. So here on most laptops, you'll see it near the edge, somewhere like that. And it's pretty much the same on the MacBook, but it's near the middle. So if you've ever wondered what that little slot is, that's what it's for. That's for your laptop lock. And um, just so happens that we recently had um, tornadoes here in Illinois so the kids and I had to spend some time in the basement while I was down there for an hour I said well I might as well do a little straightening up and here's one of the things that I found my old master lock combination lock now since this is a combination lock and it's probably 10 years old I have absolutely no idea what the combination is I thought that I might know it I tried a few things but I have no clue so this lock is pretty much useless to me now However, what they have now is this one. You're like, what? There's no knob, there's no numbers. What is that? What are you showing me? Well, I wanna show you the box. This is the Master Lock Dial Speed. And the way this works 
It's, it's a programmable lock that works on letters, numbers, or arrows that you uh, program. So I want to show you how this opens really quickly. The primary code is stored in there. So if you press something, you'll see that it lights up, right? So I'm going to put the code in. And it pulls open. Now, you have the ability to change that code, set another code, set a um, primary code and a master code that you can then store in your master lock vault. You can reprogram it if something happens and that means you're never going to lose your combination. This one, I can do nothing with. This one, if I lose or forget what I set, I can look in my master lock vault, look it up, open it again, or change the combination if I need to. So that's it for me. Uh, just a few tips for staying safe. You can you can take these with you when you travel. I forgot to mention that. Take this with you if you're traveling. You're going to the bus terminal or you know anywhere where you need to lock something in a locker, and that's perfect. Um, happy online shopping, and everyone have a great holiday.